Welcome to Section 4, Creating Professional Reports Inside of SEMrush. In this section, we'll be looking at generating spreadsheet reports from the dashboard. We'll explore the question why you should create custom reports. And we'll look at navigating the drag and drop custom reports builder inside of SEMrush. In this section's first video, we're going to look at generating spreadsheet reports from inside the dashboard. In this video, we'll look at how you can export data from SEMrush into a spreadsheet report. We'll look at the three file types that can be used for exporting reports. And we'll answer the question, why you should use these data reports in your business. So let's get started. So in this video, we're going to be looking at creating reports from the data in SEMrush. Here you'll see that I have eBay.com pulled up on the domain overview within the domain analytics section. We've already covered how to pull this screen up in the prior videos. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to scroll down and I want to show you how to export a report such as this one, the top organic keywords. So here you can see that there are 30,405,000 top organic keywords that eBay is ranked for. And if I want to export this data into a report, I'd simply click the blue export button, which gets highlighted in green as I highlight it. And I could choose to export this data into three different file types. I can export it as an Excel document. I can export it as a CSV document or I can export it as a CSV semicolon document. And if you look at the Excel, those files are called .xls files. So to demonstrate this real fast, I'm going to click on the export this data to an Excel document. This brings up a download link in the bottom left corner of my screen. I'm going to go ahead and click on the downloaded document here and it will pull it up in Excel. So here I have the full list of eBay.com domain organic US based keywords. And this is sorted into a spreadsheet where I can look at the keyword, uh, the position ranking, the previous position, the search volume per month, the cost per click, the URL, the traffic percentage, traffic cost, etc. So we can go through all of these analytics and we can use this data for our business. Back on this screen, you can see that we can pull up reports from just about any of these data points within SEMrush. Like here's the main organic competitors. I can again click on the export button and I can go through this on a number of the different data points. So what are some of the reasons that you'd want to export these documents into a spreadsheet report? Well, within a spreadsheet, it's easy to sort through the data points and actually create formulas where if you're looking at paid advertising opportunities, you can sort through and look for low cost per click items that have a high search volume or other formula types of that nature. Also, if you're working with prospective clients, you can do some keyword research and export them into a spreadsheet report that you can share with your clients as a way of engaging them to increase the likelihood that they become actual clients. This is also an easy way to just export these documents and share them with team members or again with your clients in a simple file type that can be sent via email. So for all these reasons, reports are easy to generate and great to use. And in the coming videos, we'll go into custom reports as well. So that concludes video 4.1.